Shock is defined as a state in which tissue perfusion is inadequate to maintain normal aerobic cellular metabolism. Shock has been divided into four or five different types according to its etiology. Hypovolemic, cardiogenic, septic, neurogenic, and hypoadrenal. Hypovolemic shock. Hypovolemic shock is defined as tissue hypoperfusion resulting from inadequate intravascular volume. This is the most common type of shock that is encountered in surgical patients. The most common cause of hypovolemic shock is hemorrhage. Hemorrhage can occur postoperatively or after a trauma. Not uncommonly, patients with a GI bleed can present with significant blood loss as well. Surgical patients that are not hemorrhaging can develop hypovolemic shock. Hemorrhage has been further stratified into classes. Class 1 hemorrhage occurs when there is a loss of 10 to 15 percent of the circulating blood volume. In a 70 kilogram male, this would be between 500 and 700 milliliters. For perspective, when a person donates blood, typically 500 milliliters of blood is removed. This amount of blood loss is typically well tolerated and no change in blood pressure is usually seen. Class 2 hemorrhage is a loss of 20 to 30 percent of blood volume, 750 to 1500 milliliters in the 70 kilogram male. These patients will have mild tachycardia and narrow pulse pressure, delayed capillary refill, tachypnea, and at times mild to moderate anxiety. Class 3 hemorrhage is a loss of 30 to 40 percent of blood volume in the 70 kilogram man, 1500 to 2000 milliliters. These patients will have hypotension marked tachycardia, confusion, pallor, and ulguria. Note that in order to have hypotension with hemorrhage, 30% of the circulating blood volume has been lost. Class 4 hemorrhage is a loss of more than 40% blood volume, greater than 2 liters in our 70 kilogram person. These patients will have hemodynamic instability, significant mental status changes, Class 4 hemorrhage will result in cardiovascular collapse if it is not properly treated.